If you've ever done metal stamping, then you'll know that there is a bit of a learning curve involved. There are a few things you need to practice and figure out before you can get good at it. Today, I have a couple tools that are supposed to make metal stamping easier. I'm going to review them and let you know what I think. Hey there, creative people. Sandy here. Welcome to another Friday Findings video at KeepsakeCrafts.net. The nice folks at BB Craft sent me a few metal stamping products to take a look at for you. The first one is this Bene Create Metal Punch Stamp Holder. Universal holds stamps up to 15 millimeters in diameter with rubber handle for metalworking. That's the title of it on their webpage. When I first got it, this confused me and after playing with it for a while, I've determined to just completely ignore this. In fact, what I may do is actually take this off and then take the nut off because it just gets in the way. Uh, I didn't find it useful. This is a lock washer which locked things for me and I had to call on my husband to <laughs> help me undo it because I was like, what is going on? What am I missing? I've looked at similar designs of stamp holders and uh, they don't have that and I don't think it's at all necessary. So before I lock it again, I'm actually going to take this off because most of the time when we use a tool like this, we're going to be changing out the stamps regularly. There's no need to lock it in tightly. It'll be tight enough for the one or two blows that you're using. So set those aside, use them in something steampunk. <laughs> Put them in a toolbox. This is really all you need. The description on the website, the tools, seven inches, 18 centimeters long, comfortable rubber handle, to give you better using experience. Securely holds the metal stamp using the comfortable handle. I will agree, it is a very comfortable handle. It fits really nicely in your hand. I, I enjoy that. It makes the lining up of the stamp easier. There's no obstructed view of your work surface and saves your fingers from smashing. <laughs> so let's try this out. I have a bench block with a leather sandbag, which just helps dampen the sound. And here I have some brass blanks, which they sent me. Now these brass blanks are hardened. Here's one I've been playing with, and you can see it's hard. You're not going to bend it. Unlike, here's some copper sheet that was, I gotta order some more, I don't have much left. You can see this is bendy. So you can really see the difference. This is hardened, this is bendy, and I'll show you the difference. So here is a stamp. They also sell uh, sets like this. I don't think I got this set from them. But you do want to use a stamp that is longer than this so that you have a part that sticks down and a part that sticks up that you can strike. And then you see what I mean? This is just a one hand operation. With that locking nut, it was two hands. It was very annoying. So you want to line up your stamp. What is that? I've got a five. So this is the top. Actually, I've, I've marked these with a little black mark with the part that ought to be near me, facing me, if I want it to be upright. So that's a useful tip. So I'm going to position this so it's flat on there. This little bump here actually makes it great if you have hexagonal stamps it'll pop right in there. But either way, one edge is going to be on the flat and one edge won't be. So either it'll be flat against the screw or it'll fit nicely in that space. Now you can hold this on your blank wherever you want to make your mark. You can see, I know you can't so much on the camera, but if I hold this even an angle, like this is about the angle that I'm looking at it, you can see where your stamp is going to be in relation to everything else. And with a little bit of practice, you'll be able to hold this nice and level. I would recommend a slightly heavier hammer. Mine is only an eight ounce, and they recommend about a one pound, a 16 ounce hammer. So you get it on there and one good strike. And there is my five. That's a nice, clean impression. Now let's just, for argument's sake, do it on the softer metal. So we'll do that on the copper.
You can see with the same amount of force, I mean, that actually, I don't know how, how well you can tell on camera, I actually made a depression in the copper with that. Whereas this just made the mark. It didn't change the shape. But can you kind of see? I don't know if you can. That it actually pushed it in. So that's the difference between having a softened piece of metal and one that's hardened. Without these, just loosen it and it comes right out. So I think this is a great tool because I'm always kind of timid uh, if, I'm, if I'm holding the stamp like this. Uh, it just, it's a small area to hit and my fingers are a much bigger area. So I was actually pleasantly surprised with this. Once I got rid of this, figured out how to use it. The handle, like I said, is comfortable. This whole mechanism here actually kind of helps you to visually get it very level so that your stamping is even. You know, from the top to the bottom and side to side, there is the same amount of force. All in all, I think this is, will be a very handy tool. The other thing they sent me, besides the blanks, which I'll get to, is this set. One thing that kind of makes my heart happy is actually having this set in a case and I can keep all of these in order. Unlike this set, which is, I'm constantly digging, you know, give me an A, um, um, <laughs> where is it? There's the A, I've got them all in order, A, B, C, D through H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, and then, um, you have T U V W X Y Z, an ampersand. Uh, you also have a period, which I have not had. And actually, this is, there's been a few times I wished I had a period stamp. Although you can just use an all. So it's a nice little set. It's the Panda Hall Elite 38 pieces iron metal number and letter alphabet ID stamping punch tool set kit. Letter diameter 2.5 millimeters. <laughs> I was a little perplexed when I got this because I, I'm looking at it and it's it's springy and I couldn't quite figure that out and so I looked it up online and found that it actually is a spring-loaded punch which I thought sounded like a fantastic idea. Let me show you how it works. Now I learned this from a YouTube video. I did not figure this out myself. So well I'll show you first. You just pop these in here and it's magnetic, which I think is awesome. So I love having everything in a case that keeps it neat, much easier to find the one I want. You could even make little labels, because my eyes aren't great, so I wouldn't mind having labels just reminding me of what these are if I can't see it right off the bat. So this will fit your hexagonal shaped stamps. But the problem with using this tool on them is, yes, see how it pops in there beautifully, but then you have that pressing on the point, which is fine. It holds it securely, but it's too short. You don't have enough room. You have barely enough room, to, if you were to try to use it, to have to strike there and then have that sticking out. Uh, yeah, I, I don't know that that would work out well. So this is definitely for stamps that are longer. So anyways, back to this. This is so cool, the way this works. And I'll send you, I'll give you the link to the guy who made the video explain how this works. Although this doesn't work as well as I thought it would, but it's very ingenious and very clever. So we have three brass parts. The middle, which is a tube. Well, it's got a little and it's, it's got a little stopper in there that stops this. And then the, the top and the bottom, and there's two springs. And this part, the part that will hit and strike, has this up against it. And notice that this is off at an angle. And what happens is as this gets compressed, this straightens out. So as you're pushing, that ends up in the st straight position instead of at an angle. And what that allows this to do is slip into this hole. So at first it's not going into that hole until it's compressed, then it does. 
So this is a little hammer. What happens is that when that slips in there, that allows the force that was on this spring to be released, which punches this downwards. I'll show it to you in action. You can buy something similar at Harbor Freight that just has a um, an awl, basically, and it's a little center punch. So that goes towards there so that that can slip into it. And one thing the guy mentioned was that if you have one that isn't working well, sometimes there's a little burr on here that you can file down. The burr will keep that from slipping in place. So if you're mechanically inclined, you might enjoy taking a look at that. So put that back on, and then there's this big spring in the back. And if perchance you have one of these that's too forceful, you can just loosen this up and there'll be less force. If you have it screwed down all the way, that will be the maximum force. I'd suggest taking a Sharpie or a paint pen and making some marks so that you can line things up the way you want them to be lined up. But all you do, it's best to stand up as you press straight down. And that was that hammer releasing. You can't really see what happened. But I didn't get much of a mark. That's my, that's like the very center of my X. That's all I got. So it's really not very strong. If you go and watch that guy's video, he'll show you a center punch that actually, it really makes a pretty deep dimple with the, with the point. Now, this is hardened metal, so you're going to need more force to get a good mark. So let's try this. I'm doing an X. Let's try this on this copper, which is much softer. And actually, it's kind of helpful to me to have the camera pointing straight down because I can look and see if I'm off to the side, whereas standing up over it or sitting in front of it is a little harder. But you just get a good grip on it and press straight down. And uh, not impressive. There is my X. So I thought this would be a really cool, useful tool for stamping where you don't have to use a hammer. But I actually found that I like this better. So there are things I like about the set, and maybe if you're stamping in something really soft, this might be great. But something about the design of this handle does not have a very good force. So I wasn't I was sad that I wasn't real impressed with that. But I do love a handy dandy case that keeps everything tidy. And you can certainly use these in other ways. Like I said, maybe for softer metals. The final thing they sent me was this set of 50 pieces of brass, flat round blank stamping tags, pendants, charms, 34 by 0.5 millimeter for jewelry making in antique bronze. I do love this color and there's a lot of fun things you can do with these. You can stamp ID tags like the name suggests. You can use them as part of jewelry. You can cut them up. They have lots of different sizes and shapes. They have rectangles and ovals and hearts and all sorts of things. They have different metal, antique brass, they have silver, copper. If you're interested in any of these products, I will have links to them at my blog post, which you can get to by clicking on the I in the upper right or in the description box. So many thanks to BB Craft for sending along these tools for me to check out. 